also in the study of uh, human beings, there's this whole new area called, um, called evolutionary psychology, where the attempt is to understand and explain various um, outstanding human traits and features in terms of our evolutionary origin back there on the plains of Serengeti a million years ago or so, or 500,000 years ago. So people try to explain morality this way. They try to explain uh, religion this way. Things like our sense of humor, our sense of adventure, our love of stories, um, all of these things. And, uh, and much of this is kind of percolated down into sort of the culture generally. So I would uh, very much disagree with Dennett on that point. He thinks that, he thinks that um, the world isn't mind first, but rather mind is a later arrival on the scene. So for, for, for a very long time, for um, billions of years, there were, there, the world was here, but there was no mind. And then mind came to be gradually by virtue of natural selection working on random genetic mutation. So finally, uh, you might say mind is a very late arrival. If you think of human minds, and human minds would be uh, very late, they'd maybe say a million years ago or something like that, maybe even less than that. Some people would say much less than that. But I think that's wrong. I think that um, mind has been a feature of the universe from the very start and is in fact the most basic feature of the universe. Uh, the most basic, most important being in the universe would be God. So he could be involved in the whole process in a very intimate way. He could, in fact, uh, cause all the genetic mutations, or at least all the ones that uh, turn out to, uh, to have been part of the whole development of, say, humanity. Or he could, he could be much more hands-off. He could uh, just uh, create the whole process to start with, knowing how it would turn out, and let it go. Evolution itself shows that there isn't any such person as God. There's no designer. His argument is appallingly weak, I think. I mean, I think the argument he gives basically goes like this. Um, what we see is that it's possible that all of these creatures have come to be without being designed. Therefore, they have come to be without being designed. So arguing from it's possible that something is the case to it really is the case. I think that's a foolish argument. I mean, if I come home and tell my wife, um, the chairman of the philosophy department wants me to receive a $50,000 raise. And she says, well, what makes you think so? And I say, well, it's possible. You know, well, that's not a very good reason at all. I mean, uh, according to Christian belief, Jewish belief too, and maybe also certain kinds of Islamic belief, God has created us human beings in his image. And a really impressive display of the image of God in human beings would be science.